time making biscuits. Get up in the middle of the noonday biscuits. Get up in the afternoon making biscuits. Get up in the middle of the nighttime biscuits. Get up in the morning time. Welcome back. Thanks to the rainy season, things have gotten out of hand. So today we're going to take them back in hand, at least in the small set of garden beds behind me. These just need to be fixed. And the dry season is coming, so if I can get another round of vegetables and stuff going in here, and I'm really craving some hot peppers, you know, I'm gonna be happy. So let's attack it. As you can see, there's actually a good bit of food in here right now. We've got the paprika peppers producing pretty consistently. Those are perennials, so they may go through for quite a while. Over here we've got a amazing mess. <laughs> There's papaya and gingers and weeds and celosia. This is actually uh, a sea bean. <laughs> <laughs> There's yams going up the fence. I mean, this is like, there's food in here, but it's kind of food in anarchy. Here I've been dumping stuff just to rot because this bed has just been a terrible producer, so why not dump some compost on it, let stuff compost in place. Uh, up here we've got the possibly toxic, who knows, Dioscoria bulbifera. I mean, look at this pumpkin vine. This is a seminal pumpkin vine that's climbed all the way around from the other side, worked its way over here. Look at, see the vine? It came over the fence. The vines just sort of disappeared back there because it's rotted and broken, but because it roots along the nodes, this thing has just decided to keep going and now it's up there, so who knows. The celosia is a good green, but it's seeded itself and I, I don't know why it's there. You see all of this here is uh, Cuban oregano, AKA big thyme. You can just cut these leaves and cook them. They're very good, nice seasoning. I've got peppers in here, but they need to be weeded. Uh, sweet potatoes have come back from the ground and I've got to get rid of them. This is a mess. See all this stuff? So I'm gonna just tear it out and make it nice again and see if we can get some sense out of these beds and what, see what kind of food we can pull out of them because I know there's stuff here that needs to be harvested. That's the goal for this afternoon. Well, people watching me are watching me weed. Watching me weed on YouTube instead of doing something for themselves. And you are sitting there, at least I'm going quickly as I weed. Or I would waste more of the time that you can't spare from your Something fascinating about David the Good And his amazing weeding skills And the way he plays the guitar It's emotional, it's so emotional You can't stop watching, you can't stop watching David the Good Even when he's doing something boring like Well, I've got to show you this. This is... Remember the peanuts I planted? I was waiting for them to die back and then I was going to pull them up and get the nuts, but it looks like, see what happened? The nuts got stuck beneath the ground and then they sprouted. So I have this huge cluster of peanut plants all together. So, well, there you go. That's what happens when you don't pay attention for a while. <laughs> But you don't have to answer out loud Probably something else you wanted more Maybe you wanted to be an astronaut Or maybe a ballerina Or maybe a ballerina astronaut But I'm sure your plans weren't To sit on YouTube at night And watch David the Good Weed his beds in 480p Standard definition well, I should probably clean the rest of the garden up, but I feel like I've done enough for tonight and I want to do something else. So I am going to plant 
some of these long overdue tobacco seedlings and make this a tobacco bed. Let's see how that goes. Tobacco is very easy to grow, very easy to transplant, a lot like tomatoes. Pop it in the ground, it grows. That is the transplanting part. The rest of it, they're easier to grow than tomatoes. These guys will get as tall as I am if they're happy. Put out a big spray of beautiful flowers, which the hummingbirds like to visit. I've watched hummingbirds visit them again and again and again. Like every five minutes, they're back for a little tobacco break, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna give them some good space. So they can make some leaves. got some tobacco down and I think I'll plant some more hot peppers. This bed here is kind of interesting. This is the one I dumped all the seaweed on and it's really easy to dig. So I was asking Steve Solomon about it if there's something in seaweed that made the ground slippery and he said actually he thought it was probably the beach sand. Now you've heard if you mix sand with clay it doesn't actually help. Usually it's supposed to make it like concrete. However that's sharp sand or builder sand. This sand is from the shore where it's been tumbled into little round balls of silicon dioxide. So it seems like the ground just, think, you know, the shovels and the cullises and everything just slip into it nicely. And I think it's actually the sand has um, loosened the clay up in kind of a weird way. It's very interesting. I've never I've never felt it before, but the ground feels sort of slick and slippery compared to the other beds. It's kind of cool. Just a, I don't know if it's good or not, but definitely loosened it. Well, that's three beds done. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of it, and I'll bring you along in a future episode. But I finally got the tobacco going and I got some more habaneros in the ground so that feels good. They've been sitting around for a long time not being cared for and now they're gonna have a little bit of room to run and we should be getting hot peppers and tobacco. Maybe we'll figure out how we can enjoy them at the same time on YouTube at some point. We can like roll habaneros inside of tobacco leaves. No, I don't think so. Anyhow, thanks for joining me. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David. Ah, that David. The David the good. We sing about science and other nautical terms. Thanks for joining me, international fashion model Dav Laban, as we plant seeds in flats in the real garden experience for everyone all around the world, from Miami to Paris.